name is Jackson Conaty. I am a Gamilaroi and Wanarua man. I'm currently studying my first year of the Doctor of Veterinary Medicine at the University of Sydney. Previously, I was in the Bachelor of Veterinary Biology. Since then, I've progressed into the Doctor of Veterinary Medicine. So to progress into the DVM, I needed to get the right marks, high marks, a 75 average. Key to this was my time management. I needed to manage not only my studying, but sleeping, eating healthy and exercising. My pathway into vet science, I suppose, would have started when I was a kid. I kind of had that dream that, you know, I want to be an animal doctor. I've always owned like animals, like dogs and lizards. A childhood dream that just didn't go away. So in high school, I didn't quite think I would get the marks in for vet. My dad was always that guy that was like, well, what can you apply for? What's out there? You should just go for everything. Because why not? That wasn't my dad was. So he always pushed me to do those kinds of things. I spoke to my year advisor and she mentioned to me the Cadigal program and what it entailed. And I applied for that and that ended up getting me into veterinary science. I am one of the first people in my family to go to university. Being one of the first people in my family to go to university my whole family are very proud of me and keeps me inspired or keeps inspiring me to keep going through university and to keep working hard. I do have two younger brothers and a younger sister. They see me doing what I want to do and being able to do what I want to do, hopefully that inspires them to do what they want to do. So at the moment I'm living in a suburb called Randwick. I live at a vet clinic so it's a live-in position. Pretty much this just means that I live there, I pay rent there, but also work there at the same time. So a few weeks ago I went to the United States, to Washington State, for a leadership course called the Veterinary Leadership Experience. This was run by the United States Veterinary Leadership Institute. This leadership course was actually sponsored by the universities. It was a pretty big thing for me going overseas and I mean I was a little scared at the time because I was like, oh you know, I'm by myself travelling for like 24 hours to a place I've never been before. Really glad for the opportunity, I'm really glad that I went. My end goal is to be a practising vet. I know finishing my degree within this line of work is only the beginning though. I know you get out there and there's a whole tonne of other things you have to learn. That's exciting to me, I always like learning new things and I suppose that's why I got into vet. It's always evolving and changing and there's always something to learn which I think is a big motivator for me. 